It's a Lamide. No, a Lamide is bad though. And this and is boy, a boy, national middleweight contest. Sugar Burn. Yeah. You still but, no more music. Uh, the last boxing uh, promotion. Uh, um, the penultimate bout of the evening. On this beautiful night of uh, battle. Of of the title, but let's go back hey. to the ring. Hey. Hey. I love the music. I'll see you. And it's sixth in the series. Bring it out of your box house to make that ring walk. For this next bout, to fight out of the blue corner. Adewale Oladeji. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the next bout. And the fans are happy and getting ready. Our CG is on the ring and the fans are waiting. Getting ready for the next bout. It is a bout between Wale and Thiago. It's indeed a battle of the ages and they are ready to rumble. And this opener to fight out of the red corner, Tiamiu Hassan. And introducing the three judges scoring this bout at the bell. Shegun Adesonya, George Sheyi, and Yetunde Alimi. And the third man in the ring where the bell goes, Tayo Olaifa. And now introducing the boxers, first fighting out of the blue corner, weighing 71.8 kilograms, with a career record of three bouts, Three wins, all three wins coming by way of knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce it at Dewale Playboy Oladeji. And his opponent across the ring comes in weighing 71.4 kilograms out of the red corner with a career record of nine bouts, nine wins, six of his nine wins coming by way of knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current national super welterweight champion of Nigeria. Introducing the one and only out of the Nigerian army, Tiamio Hassan. And the referee now with his instructions. All right, it's on the Hello way. Guys, my name is Timitayo Laifa. It I is on the way. Battle of the oh, AJ no. Season 6. Wale Adedeji, a.k.a. Playboy, a.k.a. Jagun Jagun, is fighting against Thiago. And Thiago called Thiago of the Nigerian Army. This is going to be a cracker between the two fighters.
So the fight is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. In Second case you are just joining us, we Man are at the Mola Teslim Balogun Stadium, Sule with the Moladeo Koya Thomas Hall, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the lad boxing promotions and sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control. And this bout is coordinated by Mr. Remy about and sanctioned and headed by Dr. Rafio Ladiko. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about between um, Adewale Oladeji and Tiamiu Asan. It is a six round national middleweight challenge. And um, Tiago Tiamiu is on white and gold boxing trunks, while Wale is on black boxing trunks. It's an eight round cracker, ladies and gentlemen. And now and we are ready to rumble. This is definitely going to be a massive one. Look at, looking at the condition in our box, box, both boxers. And they look to be very aggressive boxers. Both boxers catching each other there with right hooks. And uh, one of them popularly called Jagu Jagu. It's yeah. a boxer in the black trunks with the shimmering of gold on it, fighting out of the blue corner. And the more illustrious boxer in the white trunks with black and gold trimmings on the side is the one they call... Tiago Asan Tiago. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. He's a fighting pride, fighting from the Nigerian army. He's a military man, so he should have some strength against the Chagun Chagun. Well, well, we really also get, need to give kudos to the Nigerian army, Nigeria police, which we just saw one of their illustrious uh, sons a while ago, talking about none other than uh, Duro Dola himself. Yes, uh, Dola Duro Dola. Dola. He's done, he's been there, done that. <laughs> he's been champion, he's been a challenger. He's challenged for some of the best titles, world titles. And uh, he's definitely done his own beat in the amateur world as well. Won gold medals as well at international championships mm -hmm. for Nigeria. So, uh, we need to give kudos to the military and the paramilitary. They keep doing Nigeria proud, especially when it comes to combat sports. And don't forget, ahead of the Olympic Games, we have a Taekwondo athlete a female Taekwondo athlete from Nigeria who will be the first female Taekwondo athlete to attend the Olympic Games back to back in the country. It's a good one for Nigerian and that's combat sports. Uh, it's a good I one. Ayana Cho, Cynthia, that's the name. Look out for that name at the Olympic Games. And do you know that uh, <clears throat> Thiago Tiami has been coached by one of Nigerian legends um, uh, in Chegua Jose? That's a big one. It's a big one. But Shago himself, uh, Shago himself, a military officer. Yes. Uh, the he, officer. He, he left the shores of the country and he was based in the Uni uh, United Kingdom for quite a while. He fought there. Yeah, and he fought there. In fact, there was a time one of the most prolific boxers from UK, we were told, uh, he, Shago himself boasted uh, that he never wanted to fight him. That, that was Ricky Hatton. Oh, Ricky Hatton. He, yeah. he looked for the Ricky Hatton fight all over the place, but Ricky Hatton. Never obliged him, <laughs> and I and I think that that's because of never the fact that was scared of Shegun. Yeah, I think so because oh, that was what Shegun said that Ricky you know scared? They, they never wanted me to fight Ricky. <laughs> I kept asking for that fight, but they never they, they Shegun never came. Just in eight days was a superstar. It was huge. A very technical boxer. Oh yeah. That's a recap, ladies and gentlemen. Wally and uh, Tiami is doing some good boxing skills work. And that one is up to the fans to judge. But I think it's a good one coming. This fight is going to be a cracker. We are just in the first round. We still have seven more rounds to go. And I know you're ready to enjoy the show. My name is The Hurricane. And you can call me the engine of boxing. And I'm working with RCG, Rob Shiggles and George, as a ring announcer, and Nero Adesoya, a legendary boxing commentator. And we are live at the last boxing promotion. We resume, ladies and gentlemen. It is the second round, and action is on the way. Good fight here coming from both fighters, trading punches. Trading punches, the fight is going. The fight is going. And you can see the Nigerian army all over the place rooting for their man. Good combination. They are coming from Thiago. 
But there's no damage done to Playboy Wally, a.k.a. Jago Jago of Nigerian Boxing. I need to still say a lot more uh, from the man who calls himself Jago Jago because it's uh, a very, very big AKA to give yourself. Jago I'm Jago, tell, I'm telling you. that is the name of a warrior. And of mm -hmm. course, if you are very big on Nigerian movies, you must have uh, seen the movie Jago Jago, which was, uh, you know, very big. kind of like a historic film yeah. about a certain warrior from the Yoruba land. So if you call yourself Jago Jago, you better bring it. I also noticed that our referees are doing so much more. They are, they are really getting better in this um, refereeing business. They know what, when to step in. They know when to stop the bouts. They know when to do whatever they need to do. Good jobs there coming from Jago Jago right in the ring. And uh, kind of a settled Tiamu Hassan a bit. But Hassan does some foot. Oh, gets himself back. Connects with some very beautiful punches there. And Jago Jago really stuttered there after those punches. And uh, I'm excited. The, I'm, I'm, I'm really loving this because it's very exciting. Both boxers. Trading punches. Real condition to, to, for, for this fight. Both boxers are trying to be very, very cautious. Trying to do something easy. They're trying to be very cautious here, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to study their man and trying to know what they are supposed to be doing. And uh, I think um, the ref is stepped in and the, the action has resumed. And uh, lots of skills, lots of. Um, and today is Thiago's birthday. And so he has everything to fight for. He has not lost a bout. This is his ninth bout and is a national champion. And today is his birthday. So he has everything to fight for. Jago Jago, as um, Playboy Wale, has not lost a fight to. For, for, this is his fourth bout. So they have everything to fight for. If Wale wins this, wins this bout, his um, rankings will go up. If um, Tiami wins this fight, his ranking will also go up. So both boxers has a lot to fight for. I don't know your opinion, Nero, about this, what, what, what I just said. Uh, yes, it's a big one, even though it's not a, it is not a national title challenge. It's just a national challenge. So, but, but still, bragging rights is a stake. Um, it's obvious that Tiami Hassan cannot afford to lose this because, he can. yes, he will not lose his belt, but that's going to be a blemish on his impeccable record. And he wants to keep it that way. So, but we'll have to wait to see how things go. Got quite a few more rounds to go in this one. Wow, that's a recap in the round, last round. You can see the hustle. Both boxes are doing well. Good movement, catches Wale on the face. But he comes back angered about that hit. And it tails his man to the ring, and on that one comes again. Second out, round three. And we're in the round of three. Jago Jago needs to be a bit more. I think he needs to be a bit more tactical. I'm seeing, sensing a lot of power in his in his in his fight, but it's not about the power. He needs to calm down, relax. You can see the referee there telling him, "You're a, you're a big man. Why why are you why are you dipping your head so low? Stay in this fight. Concentrate." But I think that's the tactics of every fight. He wants to enter into the fighter. He doesn't want to give um, Tiami the chance to, to, to reach out because Tiami obviously has a long, longer reach. And um, yeah, but you, but, but he doesn't him. have to go smother. In, if you look at the way he's throwing his punches, it's obvious he's not throwing those punches well trained. He is having to launch from his position to where Tiami is, and Tiami standing his ground trying to use those long reach of his and you can see again he's gone in for an uppercut there so I think Wale is looking for that opportunity to go on the inside yes to counter his man but he's still going to have to fight from outside as well fight. he has to because if he doesn't then the cause will be on him and he's fighting a boxer who's got tons and tons of experience who has fought different kind of fighters you, I mean you don't just become a champion a national champion just overnight 
you must have, you know, paid your dues. And that's what uh, Samuel has bring to the ring. Yes. So it is what it is, and uh, the bout is going on. Uh, everybody's quiet, waiting for some miracle to happen here. You see, he's looking for that. Co and Wale should also understand that you're not going to get the boxer with the killer punch just like that. Sometimes you have to build it up to a crescendo. You, sometimes you have to set it all up. He's looking for the killer punch. And you're, when you're fighting a, a very experienced boxer, like uh, T, uh, uh, he's just got Tiamu there, and then he's gone in for the smother again, when he could have actually stayed from afar and tried to go for another jab. And he's just lost that opportunity right there after, after scoring a big punch. Yeah. I think the, well, let's see what's going to happen. He's, he clearly looks like the man who's got the more stamina. He's got more stamina than his opponent. But he needs to be clinical. He has more stamina. He's well conditioned. So he needs to make use of all those things and keep his guard up at all times. He just got caught there yes. with the right hook. And he needs, to, he needs to really watch out. He has to watch out, actually. And it's 10 seconds left in the round of three. And the jab still coming in. And it is over. It is the round of if four this, coming in. If this fight goes the distance, I think it's going to be the more technical boxer that will get this. Well. And so far, so good. The champion is proving that he's the more technical boxer. Round number four of this uh, six-round national middleweight challenge. Wale or Ladimeji, a.k.a. Chaku Chaku, gets caught there with a right and left hook there. Now, this is where Chaku Chaku needs to watch out because boxers that are powerfully built like him mm -hmm. have issues with going the distance. So... We might just see a situation where can get, can, can get caught by Tiamu. Yes, knows that he has a longer reach, and you know, based on happen. his experience, sure, who has dropped, has dragged Wale up to this uh, level, and can start looking at it from his alertness. He could struggle for it, but we'll have to wait to see th how things will go. Yeah. Another la n nice. Uh, an Ow. Wally Good just, they're coming. Wally just got caught there, and he gets caught again. And that's exactly what this is what Tiamu is going to keep doing. I talked about the fact that the more technical boxer looks like the one who will be able to get this if he goes the distance. And so far, so good. I think that Tiamu has edged it based on what we have seen so far. Well, it's on the way, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're just joining us, Adewale Oladiji is on black and golden boxing trunks, while Tiami Osan is on white, black, and uh, gold boxing trunks. And we are live here, Battle of the Ages, Season 6, and boxing at its very best by the last boxing promotion, sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control. A good one, they're coming. And uh, I, I think one of the strengths that Jagun Jagun would have in this fight is to try and go for the body. Every time he goes for body shots, because he's a powerful puncher, every time he goes for body shots, I've seen that it does look like it, it, it unsettles the champion. Yes, it does. But so I, I don't know what his corner is doing about it. If they can bring it to him and let him know that 
you s looking at both of them, you, you see him, it looks a bit more like the better condition. But don't get fooled. It's not just about the chiseled abs and the, and the muscles. You see that he's got big punches, but he needs to connect those big punches right. And this is exactly what Yami is going to keep doing. He will, he will keep keeping Adewale at bay. Yes. I keep doing everything that he needs to do to ensure that Awale will not score as many punches as he will score. And that's the essence of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good play. As you can see, both boxers work on this for this fight. Certain punches and the miss, the misses. Oh, whoa. Very, very, very bit of a show of boxing there by right, both boxers. And it's indeed a show of boxing, the land boxing promotions. And we are live here at the Molotov Choir Thomas in Surulu, Lagos State, Nigeria. It's Battle of the Ages Season 6. And if you are not here, you are not anywhere, I ladies and gentlemen. We are on the way. Round five. It is the round of five, ladies and gentlemen. And it's about is going away, going on gradually. Wale Oladiji against Tiamu Asan. It is the Battle of the Ages. Round of five. Way to go. Big punches from both sides. Wale and Tiamu. I think they want to finish this quickly with a with a proper battle between both of them keeps progressing keeps moving forward talking about Wale who knows he's trailing I think his corner has told him that he's trailing but he's not disciplined in his style of boxing he's looking for that he's looking for that killer punch and that's not the way to go for it you need to set it up and that's why when he lunges Tiamu knows when to walk out of those Now, clinching is getting so much of the referee to understand and saying, hey, don't clinch, fight. Even the referees are exhausted yeah. from trying to uh, split both boxers. And they've really done very well. And there you have it. That's that body punch I talked about earlier that Wale needs to work on. And now he's beginning to throw jabs, but he's get, getting caught as well. You can't be too confident. He needs to raise his hands up, protect his, himself, because Tiamu will be looking for... Oh! Massive left hook there coming from Tiamu. Who scores another one again. And Wale, oh, keeps scoring it. Oh, that looks like a rabbit punch. Wale was lucky that that rabbit punch ended up causing a split, uh, a, a break, a timeout called there by the referee. I think he was actually on the ropes at that period. Yes, he was on the ropes and... Action. Back in action. Back in action. And there you see that uh, thing I talked about, stamina. Y you can't have all of it at the same time. When, you, when, you're, when you're big, when you're muscular, stamina is what you would suffer for when you, keep, when you get going. Because a lot of the big, muscular, well-conditioned boxers oftentimes use a lot of their power when they are fighting and that's what Jaguar Jaguar has used and at this point in time the sharpness of his punches are not they're not there as we saw it earlier in the first two three rounds of course, I mean, and course. now the champion being used to this being experienced with this is now looking to exploit this you know try to keep him at bay counter whenever Wale launches forward that's it ladies and gentlemen oh, oh. two big Wally ones there got two Left and right combination and catches right. Wale very well. Wale is pretty Wale much... Wale needs to keep his guard up if he wants to get it right with Tiamu.
seconds out. Round six, the final round. Okay. Pe final round of the... The action is taking place as a round of six, ladies and gentlemen. As a round of six, Adewale Oladeji versus Tiami Sam is an explosive cracker. It's a national middleweight challenge. Okay, two more rounds to go. Yes, two more rounds to go, ladies and gentlemen. But this is now all getting explosive. Oh, another Hang big on. one there for me from the soldier boy. And it's looking like he's trying to pick apart Adewale. And Adewale is sleeping by himself. No, Stamina. the ground, the ground. Remember the last bout against, the last bout against Pajimi. Remember what happened? The ground, take note, the ground. So we are on, ladies and gentlemen, the round of six, we're still moving on to the round of eight before it's over. While he gets caught again by the champion who keeps just, you know, just tugging those. Both of them are getting caught. Let's just call it spade a spade. Nice one there coming from Adewale. And the round of six is over, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the replay on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Battle of the Ages. And uh, we're going to take you on the replay to see what went down in the last round. We are moving on to the seventh round, one round to go before the round, round of eight commences. And this is the replay, ladies and gentlemen. You can see both boxers well conditioned, but time and tiredness is taking over the uh, good one coming from Tiami Osan, who rocks man. And also, both boxers are doing a lot of touch to themselves. And everything is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. This is the recap again, one more time. And uh, you can see both boxers taking it easy. Oh, both boxers hitting each other. Circles trading punches, out. trading round points. Seven. We are on to the round of seven. Penultimate round here. And both boxers. I don't know. I think uh, Wale feels that he was caught be uh, below his chin by the champion. And both boxers now becoming a lot more cautious. They don't want to give easy, point, easy points away. While he lunges forward and he tries to get in on the defense there, but really couldn't find a breakthrough. 
And then the champion once again, both boxes lock into another clinch. Mm. And immediately is the sleep. Definitely is the but Wale needs to be careful. He needs to be calmer. He needs to be. I, I, I said it earlier, he needs to not lunge all the time. That's a big left one. And you can see he looks like his legs are a bit wobbly. He doesn't he, he cannot afford to show any sign to his opponent that he's tiring. And once again, it, it just feels like the, the champion is using everything in the book. To his advantage. Oh yes, he Exper knows where he ex experience matters a lot in this. He knows where boxing. to go for his clinch. A nice one there coming from Wale, who's not giving the champion any space. But good head work there, and he sends the champion back, and the champion also fights back as well, and forces Wale to guard up, and Wale catches the champion now. Both, both boxers <laughs> dancing. Uh, Big one dance. there. Yes. Wale definitely proving that he's a jago jago. He's a brave man. He's a warrior, and he's gonna. Give this is all nice Another one, one coming from Wale. Big one coming from Wale there. He's, he's ready to kill now. He's on the killer instinct, ladies and gentlemen. But he's tired. That's where the problem is. He's Nigerian boxing, ladies and gentlemen. It's a battle of the ages. And we'll be rocking it like never before at Boladea Koya Thomas. So they go to Nigeria. Nice one there. For once, I'm beginning to see Wale throw very intelligent punches. And he's rocking the champion. Can he finish it up? Nice one there. Both boxers fighting themselves and while they're not, not having a, not taking a break at all. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful bout. Both boxers are showing some extreme strength. Wale Oladeji is coming on strong and better. Jago Jago of Nigerian boxing against the Amiu Gold of Nigerian boxing. It is a crazy one and it seems, oh, it is a slip. It's no knockdown. It is a slip. And the referee steps in to say it is a slip. And this is the end of the round of seven, ladies and gentlemen. It is a spectacle to behold. I'm loving Nigerian boxing. I'm loving the live boxing promotion. And I'm loving what it takes to be a boxer in Nigeria. It's so sweet to see Nigerian boxing at this place, at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the round of eight. And it is the final round as everywhere is getting excited. This is the replay. As you can see, the post coming in. Boom, boom, boom. And it connects. Boom, boom. I think Wale is really out to do some damage and uh, that is what we're seeing. This is Nigerian boxing and we are good to go. So it's a beautiful one ladies and gentlemen. We are moving on to the final round. Second of out. Round eight, show. the final round. It is the final round, ladies and gentlemen. The touch gloves and they're ready to rumble for the last round of this bout. Nero, what do you think about this bout so far? Absolutely exciting, explosive. It's exactly what you expect from a middleweight boxing bout. And the two boxers are giving us. Uh, it did look like uh, Wale left it a bit late and he's coming out quite late in this one. But let's see whether he has enough in the tank to finish up strong. To finish I, one side, I yes. still think that so far so good. The champion has edged it so far. Uh, barring this final round, if Wale does a great job in this round, maybe he could claw something back and probably win it. But I, I, looking at the champion, I don't, I don't think he, he's going to try and make that easy for Wale to do. So let's see how he goes. We got to, and that's a, a quick big one there scored by the champion. Well. And that's exactly what I keep talking about. The, the champion is like he's Oh, both of them catch themselves real strong. And it did look like Wale's uh, punch had more power than the champions won as well. But both of them, they need to be cautious because they're both tired. Any big sucker punch could send anyone Any big punch could out. send anyone to the canvas. And the ground keeps slipping. But it needs to be looked into to avoid something nasty. A nasty fall, yeah. Oh, two big punches there coming from the champion. And uh, both boxes going to the clinch. And he keeps doing that a lot. You know, he gets two big punches in. He gets one punch in. Goes for the clinch. They are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final round. And the crowd is ex 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 excited. They want it to be done. It is boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Both boxes are really good. And showing up some skill here.
you can see that both boxers are absolutely fagged out. But you got to give them kudos. These are power punchers. These are middleweight punchers. And once again, both of them get each other. They've literally thrown the guards in the bin. They're going for the juggler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the round of eight. Adewale Oladeji and Tiami Usan doing some damage to themselves. We can see we are almost in the last. And this is, this is usually where sucker punches come in. But these two boxers, the fans have gotten something close to be to a climax. Adewale needs to watch out. That was a very careless approach to that punch there. Almost it's a good one, really. A good one. A good show of boxing. I can see the, 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 the champion bleeding profusely from his mouth. And the last 10 seconds of the bout, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how it's going to round up. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we the last and it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, and it's over. We're going to the scorecards. I think whichever way this fight goes, both boxers need to give themselves kudos they need to definitely raise their chin up there is no loser in this fight even though i think that there is a winner these boxers have given a fantastic showing right here at the battle of ages and that's a very good one there coming from the champion you know faking with that body punch and going for the head punch watch that again and there you have it connects very perfectly but it's been neither here nor there in the last two rounds both boxers getting themselves as a, that's another big one there coming from the champion and oh another and that's where both of them literally got each other they have given a good account of themselves and we are waiting from the decision from the judges so let's take it to the Ring announcer talking about none other than Ralph Chidiose George. It's been an exciting night of boxing right here at the Molade Okoya Thomas Hall of the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Surulere, Lagos. Venue of the Battle of the Ages, season six, brought to you by D Lads Boxing Promotion, sanctioned by none other than Nigeria's regulatory, professional boxing regulatory body, the Nigeria Boxing Board of Control under the able leadership of Dr. Rafiul Ladipo and of course Secretary General talking about none other than Remy Aboderi. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I think these two boxers deserve a round of applause. And after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. George Ashego Adesson has scores it 74-78. That's for Tiami Yu Hassan. George, Shay George has scores it 76 76, a draw. And George Yetunde Alimi scores it 73 79 for your winner by majority decision. Tiami you A very, very massive one there. And uh, I think the champion just did enough to get this. But I, but I, but I have issues with that. Uh, 
the last judge, judge here today, I don't think it was as wide as that, a margin, 76, 73, 79. I don't think it was as, as wide as that. Good display of boxing right here. And you can see from what we saw earlier, from the, from the recap of the fight, the very, very close one. But the soldier boy takes it at the end of the day. The champion, showing champion stuff. Uh, and I'm pretty sure some of the boxing fans here Thank would you. feel sorry for Adewale Oladeji. Thank you. They would feel that he shouldn't have picked up his first uh, loss today because Thank he, you. he put in a very good show. Yes, he did put in a good show, but I also think that and ladies and gentlemen, at the end of it, oh, the champion did enough. It's about time. What I didn't tell you for it to go down is the fact that Tiamiu Hassan was accompanied into the ring by one of Nigeria's ring legends. And I need him to stay back just to introduce the man that was the former national champion, the former Commonwealth champion three times, the former ABU champion, the former British.